I'm Michael Kays, and I teach history at Georgetown University in Washington. I think Donald Trump really represents three traditions in American politics, American political history, none of which we would like to continue, but uh, all of which he is, seems to really want to keep going. The first is anti-immigration, uh, nativism, which has a long history going back to the colonial era, going back to the time in 1790 when the first Congress passed a bill to make it impossible for non-white people to become citizens. Then there was a Know Nothing Party in the 1850s, which uh, thought that Irish and German Catholics were a menace to American society and the American Republic. Then there was anti-Chinese laws of the 1880s and 1890s, and the uh, immigration quota laws, which discriminated against Eastern Europeans and Southern Europeans and Asians in the 1920s. Uh, he represents that very strong, virulent strain of, of fear of immigrants. The second strain he represents is a kind of populism, not the left-wing populism of William James Bryan, of Bernie Sanders, of people on the left who want to help workers, help small farmers, uh, have the government represent uh, the little man, the little person, the little man and woman, but a right-wing populism which sees enemies both in the elite above and among non-white people below. Uh, and Trump, uh, unlike left-wing populists, is really talks much more about the elite, of which he really is a member, uh, than he does about the people themselves. He seems to have very little uh, sense of who the people are, which is very important in any definition of uh, any kind of, of populism, certainly a populism, a progressive populism. So he's a right-wing populist in a sense, too. And finally, I think he is uh, in the tradition of celebrity businessmen uh, who run for office, uh, who want their opinions to be known because they have made a lot of money, because they're famous as business people first. Um, <clears throat> Henry Ford, uh, the creator of the Model T, the creator of one of the most important companies in the world, really, the Ford Motor Company, uh, was uh, known widely all around the world for his opinions as much as he was uh, for the cars that he made. His opinions ran the gamut from a virulent pacifism uh, to anti-Semitism. And so, like Trump, Henry Ford was somebody who you really couldn't get a fix on. You couldn't really say for sure what he believed. What he really believed in, just like Trump, was himself and his own opinions and his own greatness. Uh, thank you, and make sure we don't elect Trump president. Stop.